We are really excited that Freedom Day, July the 4th, they're calling for another round of tea parties. Tea Party 2.0. And uh, we thought the one that took place in April 15th was just um, really energized by the Lord in everybody that participated. And I do want to thank so many of you in here who helped me so much, Erwin, you did, and Judge Newsom with all of your input on what I needed to do because it was my first time to ever do anything like that. And Marcia was my sidekick and helped me all the way through and um, so many of you spoke and did things and uh, it was just wonderful. We've got a new people on the scene this time. I want to introduce you. This man Monty Burke and his wife Laveda. I was online with American Family Association and I saw somebody had signed up coordinate a tea party in Sulphur Springs and I said hallelujah let me get in touch with this person so we got in touch and we've uh, been planning and uh, we have invited a lot of exciting people we do have Ralph Hall coming and uh, we've got Lincoln coming he's over there yes. and uh, he's going to speak to us and then uh, we've got letters out to lots of people I'm going to let uh, Monty tell you what he's doing, I'm inviting some musicians and this and that, and uh, we will keep you in touch. But I'm just excited to have all of you conservatives sitting here so I can say, help, <laughs> because we need posters, we need people to pass out flyers, we need people to bring uh, card tables and chairs and sit out there and supervise the signing of petitions like we did last time. We're going to need um, just a lot of help. So if you want to help with this tea party, call me, and I'll tell you what you can do to help us get it going. And Monty, I'm so excited about Monty and Levada. Um They are just supercharged. And so this is just God's reward. This is the double blessing for what happened last time. So, Monty, tell them a little bit about what you got now. We talked to uh, Governor Perry uh, this weekend, and I'd sent an invitation. We have his right-hand man right now looking at his schedule. Uh, he has a major celebration on July 4th in Austin, but we're expecting him to arrive at our airport out here Friday night to be there. We're waiting on the confirmation. Uh, we're also behind the scenes getting in touch with uh, former President Bush and see if we can get him out here through Ralph Hall and through um, Rick Perry. The friendship is there. Uh, Erwin, we need, we need all the resources that we can pull out. We also want our local representatives here. Um, I'm going to be touching base with a lot of them, uh, some of them on the other side of the fence. Uh, we would like this very much to be bipartisan. The fact that we get take our government back and the fact that... Um, well, there's just a lot of things, a lot of good things coming. I won't go into it right now. Uh, we're planning uh, right now tentatively. I I say I, we, all of us, set from 6.30 p.m. till 9 o'clock. Um, an evening on the square, uh, Friday night, July 3rd, the night before the July 4th celebration. Uh, we're going to have the street vendors out there with food. We're going to have the, uh, the police out there, the sheriff and all that. We're going to have the security we need because we do expect to have some very high political uh, horsepower out there. Um, we want to encourage everybody. Uh, we're going to do a campaign to go to all the... Uh, the uh, shop owners ever here, everyone here, the restaurants, have them stay open late at night. We're going to have a fish fry. We're working on that. We are, we are working to, to absolutely address everybody we can. We're going to have uh, the speakers to encourage everybody. And it is about taking our government back. The Tenth Amendment says that Washington is to be there to support us, not tell us what we're supposed to do. And I think it's time that we, um, is, is godly individuals, as well as citizens of the United States of America and the greatest country in the world, it is the greatest country, not just one of them, it is, the fact that uh, our voice is heard. The media has said in the past that uh, the Tea Parties were nothing to be reckoned with, but uh, now the medias are wanting to come. We're getting the uh, newspaper support, we're getting the television support, we're getting the radio support. So uh, be excited about it and be encouraged. I am very excited about it. And uh, yes, yes. So um, other than that, uh, 
through Carol, Marsha, Levada are most uh, doing a lot of the point of contact with my traveling and everything else. I'm trying to do as much as we can, but please, if, if there's something we need to do, let us know. And I'm going to spend time with you, Erwin. We're going to get together. Uh, I'm going to get involved significantly with what you need me to do, what you want me to do. And uh, I've never been a running back, but somebody can hand me the football and I'll see how far down the field I go with it. So, all right. So, thank you guys. Bless you all. Well, that's exciting. Those are the kind of things, folks, that we can do to get involved and make a change. It doesn't, one person can't do it, but if we all do it, we can affect change. Yes, sir. Sure. By the way, it's not about any one of us individually, exactly what he's saying. I was going to say that and I kind of got sidetracked. It is all about us collectively. The Bible says that we are fitly joined together. If you wear a cheap Timex watch or a Rolex watch on your wrist, it doesn't make any difference. If the gears don't mesh, it won't tell time. It is about the sum of all of us coming together, making the whole. And uh, we're all important here. Uh, please don't feel like, well, I, I'm not really important. You are important. Because with all of us out here, not complete without you being here, we can't do it. So, anyways, I tagged on to what you said. Thanks, Erwin. So when you, when you leave, when you uh, go by the sign-up sheet, please write out beside of it what it is you're volunteering for. Okay? <laughs> if we don't have any other announcements, uh, we'll officially dismiss, but please hang around. Erwin, I'd like to just say... My goodness. I don't imagine there's going to be a problem with those cookies disappearing. <laughs> Have y'all seen them? Those things, uh, they look like a $5 cookie. <laughs> okay, folks. Thank you for coming. We'll see you next month. We'll see you at the tea party. And uh, please hang around and visit with some of our speakers, okay? Thank you.